Well, hey guys, and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. Uh, it is uh, getting towards the end of January here, and uh, we've got a bright, sunshiny day. Uh, the weather has been really nice here this winter. Uh, we've had less than an inch of snow the entire winter. So I thought I'm going to take this opportunity uh, to work on my uh, solar panel system. Now, uh, I made a couple of videos uh, previously showing a new 300 amp hour battery, and I've got some new solar panels that are adjustable. Now, what I'm going to be putting together is a recharging station. It's going to be a 200 watt recharging station, and this is a project that would work anywhere. You can even use this in the city, uh, use it as a recharging station uh, for a shed or a workshop, uh, or as a power backup system in the, in the event that the uh, power grid goes down and you need a power source. So I think this is a really good project and something a lot of people will be interested in. Now you will notice that I have some panels up here and these are portable panels and then I've got some old polycrystalline panels that I've had for many many years and I've got another uh, portable 100 watt flexible solar panel up here and I've been using these uh, over winter uh, for basically experimenting to see uh, how much power they would produce and to use them to recharge my uh, portable power stations and I've been recharging a uh, 200 amp hour LFP battery. Now that system is only used for one purpose in my cabin. It is used for uh, recharging the battery so that I have a, a, a steady uh, power supply for my communication systems. That's my Wi-Fi and my laptop and recharging my phone. That is all they are used for. I don't use it for anything else. And so I don't need a lot of solar in order to keep those charged up. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be replacing all of these with a 200 watt, uh, a set of 100 watt panels. It'll be 200 watts altogether that come with some special mounting brackets uh, that make them adjustable. And I'm going to be putting them up on my porch roof. Now I used to have these old panels up there, but the problem with that is we would get so much snow that I would have to be skidding, scurrying out my window and brushing off those panels. And it was just a, a, a real bad situation. It was unsafe and it was a whole lot of work. Well, these new adjustable panels uh, can be set so that they can be almost perpendicular so that the snow is just going to slide off of them. The very worst I would have to do is come out here with maybe a broom and just give them a quick brush uh, when we get a snowstorm. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video today. So stick around because I think this is a project a lot of you people who just want a small solar panel system uh, and a battery uh, for a recharging station or a backup for your power grid. This is a project you're going to want to know how to do. All right, folks, let's get to it and I'll show you these panels. Okay, so these are the panels that I'm going to be using. Uh, these are made by Top Solar. These are 100 watt panels uh, with about a 20% uh, power efficiency and about 8.3 uh, amps output. Good panels. These are monocrystalline panels. Monocrystalline panels generally have a higher output uh, than polycrystalline panels. Those old panels that I showed you, the really big ones, you can see that it, uh, two of these are about the same size as one of those poly panels. And these are special because they come with the mount. So this come as a kit and uh, these are mounted. And these have a mounting bracket that is adjustable. And I've showed this in the other video, but basically they have a mounting bracket. This can be attached to the roof or to a wall of a house or to, you could even make it as a uh, standalone mount on the ground. Uh, if you do it as a ground mount, you probably want to use like uh, two by six lumber, about three foot long and mount each leg to that. That gives it some support so it doesn't tip over. But these have an adjustable mount and by moving this one wing nut on both sides, you can actually tip these panels all the way down so when your sun is high in the, in the summertime, your sun is a lot higher, you can tip them down to get the best angle for the sun in summertime. And then in winter, I'm going to tip them up, and this is the angle I'm going to be keeping them up at. And on, they will be sitting on my porch roof. Or any snow that settles on them is just going to slide right off. So I won't even have to clean these panels. It's very unlikely they will get any snow on them at all. So that's the plan with this. So now I need to get these up on my porch roof, and I'll show you how I attach them up there. Okay guys, so I got these up on the roof. Uh, I put them up here from the ladder and then I come out my window. Now I'm using screws and washers to mount this. In the uh, panel kits, they also include the bolts, uh, which are if you want to use them on a different type of roof or if you're doing them for a, 
a, a shed or something like that, uh, or maybe a brick wall, you can use those. I'm just using two and a half inch screws and a washer to go through the slots on these, which should be plenty. They're, they're going to be really solid. They're not going to go anywhere. Now, a couple of tricks here. You notice that I left a space between these panels. That's because I will need to adjust them for summer, and so I need to be able to get into this space right here and just undo these two nuts uh, and on both sides, and then I can lay them down for summer when the sun is going to be a lot higher. Also, I put the uh, MC4 connectors uh, right here in the middle because I'm going to be running this as a 24 volt system which means I'm going to be connecting my uh, two my positive and negative together on both panels and then I will run one positive and negative cable down to my controller this will run as a 24 volt system instead of a 12 volt system that uses smaller wire gauge a little bit cheaper wire than it is to buy 8 gauge wire which I would need if I ran these as 12 volt and I can run it a longer distance so that's why I'm doing that and left the space here and I'll just need to put in this last screw here uh, and then I can go and then I can attach these cables and start showing you how to do that uh, and then in the next video I will show it how it is connected to uh, the uh, controller and to the battery inside so this is how they mount and then from the ground I won't have to get up here again from the ground on from my ladder I can just undo the bolts on both sides lay this down for summer tighten those bolts back up makes it really easy and in winter time they'll be set at this angle when my sun is much lower in the sky, they will get optimum sun, and because of this angle, any snow won't accumulate on them. It'll just slide right off. We'll put this last screw and washer in this one. Okay, those are both really good and solid. I can go ahead and hook these up, and I'll get my wiring up here. So like I said, I'm running a 24, 24 volt system. So I'm just going to take the positive from this one, and I'm going to take the uh, negative from this one. And you can't confuse them because these are MC4 connectors, so they will only connect to the right one. So I'm going to be running positive and negative, like so. Hook those together. Okay, and then I'm going to be running a positive and negative wire from these uh, down into the cabin, uh, and that will give me a 24-volt system. So let's get the wiring up here, and we'll do that. Okay, so I've got my... Uh, Panels connected together. Like I said, I'm running a 24 volt system. The kit comes with the wiring. This looks to be probably 10 gauge wiring, and uh, that's adequate for a 24 volt system. And it comes with about, I think, 10 feet of wire or so. And uh, I'm going to be running both of these strands of wire here uh, down across the roof and into my cabin uh, so that I can connect them to the controller. And that's what we'll be doing in the next video. But for now, we'll just go down and look from the ground and see how these look on my uh, roof, and you can tell me what you think of these panels. Okay, guys, so I've got those uh, two 100-watt solar panels up on my porch roof up there, and uh, those will be used for my recharging station. I'm also going to show you these are my, my two 400-watt main systems. Uh, this system here is uh, four 100-watt panels, monocrystalline panels. Another 400-watt panels made by Renogi, uh, and these... This is a 24 volt system here. This is a 12 volt system here. These run everything in my cabin. And the recharging panels, the system up there will be used for recharging my e-bike, uh, running my uh, computer, laptop, Wi-Fi system, and all my communication systems and recharging uh, tools and things like that. So that's how I'm going to be using this system. In the next video, I will show you how I hook up the wires from that panel to the charge controller and the new battery. So be sure and stay tuned and watch for that video. Thanks folks and have a great day.